All right, well, we are celebrating a birthday for James Weldon Johnson Park. Liz McCoy, executive director of the Friends of James Weldon Park, James Weldon Johnson Park, excuse me, is here to tell us all about it. So welcome to the show again. It's Thank great to you see so you. It's much. been a while. It has been a while. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> of it's always course. a pleasure. Yeah, there's always some fun stuff going on there. Before we get into the celebration, though, tell yes. us a little bit of history of the parks. Yes. Well, okay, so Isaiah Hart, he's uh, somebody that most Jacksons should really know mm -hmm. because he was our original, like, city planner okay and he was the gentleman that thought of that we need a central park inside the downtown urban core yes. as kind of our hub of uh, commerce and okay. that's exactly still what the park is today 158 years later wow he sold his heirs actually sold the park to the city for a whopping ten dollars in no way oh gosh do you happen to know what that would be oh, with our money nowadays i don't oh i gotta look yeah. that up because <laughs> i'm sure it was not it felt more like it 100 or, or thousand thousands, or exactly. whatever thousands. kind of dollars. it was still a bargain Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. So yeah. talk a little bit, we're seeing some images here. What are some of the things that have happened at the park? Well, of course, a lot of history has occurred. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of our history, of course, hasn't been the most pleasant. Um, there is, of right. course, Axe Handle uh, Saturday that happened in 1960. But also in 1960, uh, we had both uh, Kennedy and Nixon, they actually both campaigned at James Weldon no Johnson way. Park uh, within hours of one another. Oh same my gosh. day. And so we've had really a whole bunch of people that have been um, uh, performing there. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine actually said that she saw Roy Rogers perform right wow. there in the park when she was a child. Oh my gosh, so, that's so neat. Yeah. And then talk about the name change as well. Sure. So it's actually been through many, many different name changes. Oh, really? okay. It started out as City Park. Okay. And then when the St. James Hotel was uh, created right mm -hmm. across the street where City Hall is currently, it was renamed St. James Park. Okay. And then, of course, Hemming, the gentleman that donated the Confederate statue, mm -hmm. that was in 1899 it was named after Hemming uh, in 1899 and that it occurred you know it was Hemming Park for a very very long time until 2020 2020 <laughs> and then um, when of course City Council actually uh, voted to honor James Weldon Johnson Park by naming the park after him All right. yeah well thank you for that history lesson yeah. I mean, I, I've been coming to Jacksonville my whole life my dad was born here I have family here but I, I learned something today so awesome. thank you for that yeah. and then uh, let's talk about the celebration what can yes. We expect it's well, tomorrow right tomorrow during the day between 12 and 2 okay. we're gonna have groove coalition a Ooh. great R&B band they're gonna be performing in the park we will be giving away free cupcakes while they last Yum. yes so come on out first come first serve first come first <laughs> serve while they last have a little dance in our uh, Charlie's Cafe hey. grab a cupcake got <laughs> and really just come and celebrate with us okay where can folks get more information on all the happy because every time I go down there, there is something going on. Yes, so James, James Weldon Johnson Park dot org okay. or follow us on socials. Yeah, because I know there's more stuff coming up in the future. A so lot. In the meantime, let's cheers it out. Happy cheers. birthday, James Weldon Johnson Park. Thank you. David, what do we have coming up?